I don't know which woman, which young lady needs to hear this. But I want to tell you something, and I want you to understand every word that I'm about to say. And not just understand it, I want you to listen and hear me clearly. And I want these words to resonate deep within your soul. So it will have power. It will change your mindset and will create an awareness that you desperately need. And that time for you needing it is now. Are you ready to listen to the words I'm about to tell you? Here it goes. You are worthy. You are more than what they say you are not. It's time for you to find your voice again. Stop settling for less than what you're worth. You've been sitting and hiding long enough. It's time for you to come from out of the darkness into the light. So they lied. So they convinced you they were something that they really was not. So what? I know it hurt. I know you cried. I know you couldn't believe what they done and what they said and how they treated you. But everything you went through will make you better tomorrow versus what you feel like today. Yes, you may feel like it's the end of the world, but I'm telling you, it's not. And if ever was a time for you to fight for yourself, that time is now. It's time for you to get up and dust yourself off. Get yourself together, comb your hair, take you a good bubble bath, do your makeup, put on you some good clothes, and go out into the world. Stop hiding. Stop beating yourself up. Stop blaming yourself. Stop convincing yourself that you are not worthy, you don't have value, and you're not lovable. Stop doing that. It's time for you to look at yourself in the mirror. With confidence and tell yourself, I am strong. I am powerful. I am worthy. I do deserve love. I am not what they say that I am not. I am more than that. I am a conqueror. I have a future. I bring something to the table. And if nobody like me, I love me. This is what you need to tell yourself. He ain't worth it. He was never worth it. He was not even the one that you thought he was. That was not what God had for you. He had something so much better. But you told God that he was. So God gave you freedom of choice. You have a free will. And he let you see it for yourself. And you stayed in it too long. You walked in it too long. You tolerated it too long. And you said you stayed for your children. Wrong reason. You said you stayed because he took care of everything. Wrong reason. You said you stayed because you believe all the negative things he said. Wrong reason. Your children don't need to live that life. They don't need to see that. They don't need to grow up thinking that that's love because it's not. When a man take you out of character, when a man break you down like a fraction, when a man make you feel less than, that ain't love. That's not even a strong life. That is very degrading and it's very demeaning. And you deserve so much better than what you were getting. And it's time for you to recognize that. So don't let fear hold you back. No, no, don't do that. Mm -mm. If you got somewhere to go, Find, get up and get your bags and go. Don't worry about it. Walk away without any regret. Walk away without looking back. And if you can't do it for yourself, sweetie, let me tell you, do it for that child of yours. You don't want them to grow up living with that traumatic experience. You're better than that. God didn't make no junk. You're not trash. You're not ugly. You're not fat. 
You're not nasty. You're not unlovable. You are lovable. And I don't care what you look like, your color, your shape, or your size. Somebody will love you just as you are. But what you got to do is learn how to love yourself. What you got to do is to heal your brokenness. Yeah. You got to pay attention to you. And everything that was negative and nasty, take the lesson, learn from it, and the rest of it, throw it in the trash. Don't wear what somebody told you that you was and you're not. Don't wear that. Take those things off of your back and throw them in the pits of hell where they belong. And look at yourself with confidence. And affirm yourself every day that you wake up. And keep doing it till it marinates in your subconscious. And your subconscious feeds your conscious mind. Hear me what I'm saying. It's time. It's way past time. And life is too short for you not to live it to the fullest. You'll never get to God's best holding on to yesterday. Yesterday is yesterday for a reason. It's past and it's gone. What you have now is the gift, and that's called your present. And the better gift is when you get out of your past into your present and you walking into your future. Don't you want to see some brightness in your life? Ain't you tired of crying? Ain't you tired of being upset? You ain't tired of the black eyes and the bloody nose and the fractured ribs? You're not tired? You should be. That's not love. I don't care how much you convince yourself that he loves you. I don't care how much he says, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do it. Yes, he did. One lick turns into two. Two licks turns into three. And you deserve better than you are not a punching bag. But you got to know this for yourself. And you need to teach your daughters and any other woman out there. Listen to this message. Affirm your daughters. Affirm your sons. So they won't have to fall into hands of people like that. Because usually you're looking for love in all the wrong places. Because there is something that is missing within you. And you got to learn how to love yourself a little more because you don't deserve that type of treatment nor that type of behavior. Take this message as a warning. Take this message as an alert. Take this, this message as a get up and go. It's time. It's way past time. Now, guess what? The ball is in your court. What you do from this day forward. Do you sink or do you swim? That's the question you have to ask yourself. Think about it.